so beautiful out here. I know, I love just walking on the sound. It's so peaceful. When I was 17, I invited her over. We watched the football game together. When she left, I told my mom that uh, I was gonna marry her one day. That's about it. Looks like we have the pier all to ourselves. Yeah, it sure does. We have two four-legged children, as we call them. We have a golden retriever, Ronald Reagan, and then we also have Harley. He's a husky. We'd definitely like to be down here permanently in the next five years, mm -hmm. but that's going to take us finding a house that's going to generate some rental income. His mom has a home in Kildalbo Hills, so we've been coming down and staying with her, but now it's to the point where we just want to come down full time yeah. and not have to intrude in her space. It's time. Yeah, it's just time. Off the coast of North Carolina, Kill Devil Hills sits at the center of the island chain known as the Outer Banks. Why don't you tell me a little bit what makes the house perfect for you? Definitely three bedrooms. We like to have guests over. At least a couple of bathrooms. A big deck would be nice to kind of entertain. Kyle can grill and then have his mom over, possibly a big yard, something fenced in. We have two big dogs yeah, and they have a dogs. lot of energy. There's definitely some options available for you. What's your price point? We'd like to be 250000 up to 300000 OK. You're going to have to possibly compromise on one thing or another. You might get the square footage you're looking for, but it might need updating. If we could find something that's totally updated and renovated and ready for us to move in, that would be nice. Ideally, we'd like to find a house that can make us some money. I think that's what the plan is for now. Come down in the off-season months and rent it out during the summer. Everybody wants to be here, so you'll probably be able to generate twenty-five dollars to $30,000 in a season. Oh, wow. Well, it sounds like you guys know what you want, and that makes it easy for me. So let me go get some options together, and maybe we can get together tomorrow. Yep, That'd be that great. great. Kyle and Megan want to live in Kill Devil Hills because it's centrally located. It's the heart of the Outer Banks, which is why I want to show them Brighton Beachy, just about a mile from the Avalon Pier. It's got a great price, and it's got a sun deck. Hey, Cooper. Perfect location. I think you're familiar with the subdivision. Mom's in the area. We love the neighborhood. Yeah, and there's a walking path. Perfect for walking the dogs. Well, this is Brighton Beachy. It's a uh, beach box, which is pretty much raised ranch with storage in the ground floor. This is 1,060 square feet, three bedrooms, two baths, and it's been updated inside. It's, it's very cute. Looks good from the outside. It yeah, looks I like, like the deck. How much is this one? Just came on the market, $259,000. It's a great uh, price. Yeah. What about the uh, yard? The lot's 0.17 acres. Looks like enough room to put in a fence. Might even be room for a pool. Yeah. That would be pool. nice. Yeah. It does not have any rental history, but I've got projections. This house should do about twenty-five dollars to $30,000 a summer. That would definitely help us make this dream come true. Well, I opened it up. Go check it out. I'll be out here waiting for you. All awesome. right. Thank appreciate you. it, Cooper. Thank you. This is a nice little area yeah, the here. the carport's great. Yeah. Lots of space down here. There's probably plenty of room for a hammock. Yep. The outdoor shower's right there. Yeah, uh, that's nice that it's under the house, yeah. so you don't have to walk out. Let's take a look. Oh, wow. Love all these windows, all that natural light coming in. Makes it feel really big in here and spacey. The wood paneling, perfect. I love that that's painted white. That's really pretty. The only change I'd make in here is just the furniture. Maybe put a sectional so right. you can get more people mm -hmm. on the couch. But otherwise, it's a pretty big space here. I'm not sold on a carpet. Especially with the dogs and yeah. then renters, too. It's a little small space. Yeah, it'd be crammed for both of us, but you don't cook. No, I don't like cooking, so So we'll not... never be in here together. It'd be nice to update these countertops. For the time being, I think they're fine. White is going to get dirty. Everything in here is white. For renters coming down here to party, have a good time. Yeah, white. If they spill something, white's not the best option. Dining. It's also a little small. Washer and dryer off of the kitchen. That's questionable. We could wash dishes, do the laundry, everything at the same time. It'd be perfect, Eat dinner. right? No, no that's You're not my favorite no. placement. Oh, wow. This is a great space. Very wide. We can have the dogs out here. We could put you know, a table and chairs out here and eat. We have enough room to put like a barbecue over here. Really like the yard, but it's definitely going to have to be fenced in. Oh, yeah. Plenty of space for the dogs to run. Yeah, I like the fact that the house is elevated and gives us that area down there to have parties out of the elements if it was raining. We definitely need to make this little area like a patio, but I think in order for us to get use out of it, we're going to have to build a fence. Yeah, I agree. And send the whole side yard. Yeah. Kyle and Megan are eventually looking to make a full-time move down to the Outer Banks. And in order to do that, they're going to need a house for rental income, which is why I want to show them a surf spot. It's got a large yard and a big deck, and it's all for under $300,000. So this house is a little hidden with the big oak tree here. I like that. It gives a lot of shade. It's lacking a little curb appeal. Do not judge a book by its cover. The inside is updated, and it's very nice, I assure you. And how about the front door? It's a good question. It's to the side. It's a reverse floor plan. So upstairs is the kitchen and the great room. 
And then downstairs, you've got three bedrooms and two baths. Okay. You might have to fence in the yard. Yeah. And what's the asking price? $289,000. So it's towards the top. It is. How about rental income? That's the best part. Just in June, you'd bring in around $12,000. Oh, wow. Yeah, that's a significant amount. It's a game changer. The house is unlocked, so have a look. Thanks, Cooper. You're welcome. Nice little area here. Yeah, I love Big the carport. carport. Got the canoe. It's nice. Love the outdoor shower. Yeah. It's a composite decking, though. That'll be here forever. We won't have to worry about that. Oh, look at the pink oh, wow. door. That, I love that. Yeah, that's a lot. Oh, wow. How about the carpet? This is nice. It's different, but it's still really coastal and beachy. This is beautiful. Yeah, this is a great space. I like the windows ceilings. on both sides of the walls. Yeah, let's in a let lot light of light. In. Updated kitchen. Stainless steel appliances. Yeah. The view is lacking, but it gives you privacy. The space, though, here. It's really beautiful. I really like the color of the walls. I love the flooring. Furniture is nice. I love it. Everything about this, I just yeah, love. Yeah, it's beautiful. Except for the carpet. The rug's got to go. Yeah. I just feel like it's so bright and cheery in here. It's just like yeah. it's got a really good energy. Yeah, it does. Oh, I love this. Oh, this is a great deck space. A nice sitting area. Fire pit up here. Uh -huh. Enough space to put a small grill over there. Definitely would be nice, though, to have steps coming off of here. Mm -hmm. Yeah, just to go straight down to the backyard. But steps from this height would be costly, I can only imagine. Yep, this room will work for me. Yeah. This is beautiful. Yeah, this is great. This just feels like you're at the beach. I love the furniture. What do you think about the mirror on the wall? <laughs> It's not my favorite. It's a yeah. lot. It kind of clashes with the coastal theme. Master bath is... It's tiny. It's not exactly what I was thinking, but it is updated. New cabinets, new vanity, but the size That wouldn't is work small. for us. It's a nice big backyard. Plenty of room here for the dogs. Fence all of this in. This is the biggest yard we've seen. Yeah, so far. What do you think about the basketball hoop? I think that it needs to go. <laughs> Offshore is a beach box style house. It's about a half mile from the beach and a half mile from the sound. Perfect for Megan and Kyle's active lifestyles. It's set up for rentals currently, but it could easily transition into a primary home. We definitely like the look of it from the outside. Looks like it's new vinyl, new windows. Is the backyard fenced in? It is. For the dogs? And it's a decent sized lot. It's 5,050 square feet. It's three bedrooms, two baths. Downstairs is sort of a whole bonus area. And is it furnished? It is not, but it does have proven rental history. It does around $25,000 a season. Oh, oh great. That's great. And what are the sellers asking for this house? $282,500. OK. So check it out. Sounds, Sounds good. great. I love the deck. It's really pretty. This is a bonus, though, the yeah. enclosed garage. Yeah, I love that. It looks like they've replaced some railing. Yeah, this looks all new. Yeah, it's a nice size deck. Yep. I'm not sure if it's quite big enough. We could put a few chairs. You wouldn't be able to put a grill up here. No. You could stand here and watch people in the shower. That's a little creepy. <laughs> the houses are a little closer than I'd like, but yeah. I think you'd you know, probably find that anywhere around here. Well, for this price, you're going to have that extra noise and the neighbors right next door. Right. Oh, wow. This is a nice big space. Nice high ceilings. It smells like a new house, too. Yeah. The hardwood floors are new. They're really pretty. Yep. I love yep. the big windows. It lets in a lot of natural light. Kitchen's been updated for the most part. Yeah, I like these countertops. Yep. New appliances. Mm -hmm. The cabinets are updated. Yeah, I like that. Even if we had four, five, six people right, over. Guest over. Yeah, yeah, we'd have plenty of room to cook, set the table up we over still there. Bar stools right here. Yeah. I really like that option. Love the open living room. That's yeah. really nice. This space is great. I love the recessed lighting mm -hmm. and all the windows right here letting in the light. So I like the nice textured walls. That's the first thing I noticed. Ooh. This is definitely the biggest room. Yep, I love this. Nice master. Nice master, uh-huh. Plenty of room for king-size bed, TV, maybe even area rug in here, too. Yeah, I would do that. Not much view. And I still like the window letting in the light. Good space here. Yeah, there's enough room for the dogs to run. If we have a dog door over here, they can come in and out. The fence looks a little wobbly. Needs some new landscaping. But that's easily done. You think we could squeeze a pool in here somewhere? Mm, maybe a tiny pool. I don't know. As long as we have space for the dogs to run around, around I'm OK it, with yeah. that. If you listen, the birds are chirping. It's so peaceful. I feel like the backyard is a lot different than the yeah. experience we had in the front. It's a nice space. But it still needs a little bit of work. Yeah. You guys ready to celebrate? Ready. Congratulations. Woo!
We ended up putting an offer in on the Brighton Beachy House. The house was originally listed at $259,000. And we actually got this place for $252,000. So that gives us a lot of room to put our special touch on the place.